Hello everyone, my name is Cycro. This is Prodigy Overpowered Skyblock episode 17, and we're gonna make a lot of noise, potion effects, and a lot of rainbows in this episode. So to create all this power we need, we need to use the rainbow generator. I think it can generate around 25 million RF per tick. So I have added all the recipes for the rainbow generator and all, all the different other generators that are something we are missing. So but we will tackle that as we need to go and create a different generator. So if I type in generator, I can see here we now have the pitiful generator. Oh, that was a long one. So let's go with the survival generator. We could generate two of those to begin with, and I have a power issue. So where did it go? There's the survival generator. Let's just create three in total, so we have a couple. Start. It's annoying that it, it forgets. So now it's over there. So let's see here the death generator. Let's just create a couple of those. There. And basically how this works is that we need to feed power to all these generators so if I go I think it's let's see here yeah a middle area over here so I want to have the rainbow generator in the middle here and all the different generators on the side here so if we take the death generator I'm pretty sure this uh, causes death if I, as I remember so let's do this and I'm gonna get a lever oh. because I want to be able to uh, trigger this so this is off currently and we will need this to be redstone on yes so if i add a personal emc link right there and if you look at the death generator it generates powers from bones bone blocks rotten flesh and with the skills and skull so one for let's do rotten flesh because it doesn't need to generate that much power, just need to generate power. So let's get some milk, because if I get poison, I can use this to not kill myself. <laughs> Rotten flesh, there we go. And I'm gonna see you there, and I'm gonna get a, get a conduit. I'm gonna add you there, and I'm gonna say extract, sorry, there, always active, and insert. And now this one gets rotten flesh, and I've, if I turn this one on, I think the rate is three blocks. There you can see, death has been generated. So if I go in here, I expect of death will arrive in, 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 for 60 seconds. So I'm gonna drink some milk, and I lost the, the, the effect. So, but the, the, this one we gotta keep in the corner. <laughs> so, and the same thing for the survival generator. Let me add this one here. Whoop. I think this one just needs some power. I'm so and so. I'm just gonna. Uh, this is gonna just leave always on. And I need another personal EMC link. I'm gonna need this one there. Always active. Insert. And let's just take some coal. Quick lock. Or we, if we can actually take lock. I think. Oak lock. There. Let's say you go in there. And now generates power. So I will go through all the different generators. If we go in here, uh, where's the rainbow generator? It's right there. So some of them uh, need some uh, special items. So for instance, the potion generator, it needs some sort of potion. So we need to set up a system that actually generate potions. And the same thing with the see this uh, bottom part is the halitosis. We need to provide dragon breath, so we can't craft dragon breath, so we have to manually go gather it. Luckily, a single dragon breath lasts for 10 minutes. So if I uh, gather a thousand dragon breath, that should, call, uh, should uh, last for a whole week. So I did a calculation. <laughs> and I think the thirsty, no, is the slimy? Let's see here, it's the slimy. The slimy generator here, yeah. It requires slime, but also requires milk. So there are some, and also this disenchantment, where I think it's right here. There, we need to provide this with uh, enchantment books of some sort. Luckily, these have EMC, so it doesn't have to have a uh, have an uh, enchantment. Just needs to be enchanted book. But uh, all the other ones that are pretty straightforward, I will just craft them out, 
and when we get to the more one of the more uh, exotic ones i will get, bring you back in so i can show you how i, I solve the problem we have the majority of our for our generators up and running we are just missing where, where was it yeah the halitosis generator the potion generator and the disenchantment generator rest is just simply up and running using uh, personal mc links and uh, conduits and some of them like the heated redstone generator also need lava i'm just using a, a regular fluid tank where i insert lava on one end and extract the empty body uh, buckets in the other end into these personal mc link it's the same thing with the slime generator this actually needs a bucket of milk and this one just extract the empty bucket uh, using a filter didn't i make a filter for this one apparently oh yeah i made it as an insert oh i do to do there it has to be on the extract part so we have a filter here that extracts the empty bucket yes cool so the one I want to tackle right now is the potion generator. Where is it? Halitosis. Where did I put it? Ah, here it is. Yes. And I was looking at different potions. So if I look at the uh, splash potion of slowness, it uh, generates power for 16 seconds. And I think that's enough to keep uh, the system making a surplus of uh, potions. So I have to go through a little look at my notes. Uh, so we have to go for redstone, gunpowder, filament, despairnai, sugar, and water. So I need fi fi five brewing stands uh, to do this. So brewing. So I hope I can automate this. I have no, never tried it before. So let's see if I can uh, if I add this one right there. And just to make it easy there. Oh. There. So can I do this that's the question emc link so trial and error there i'm gonna take also ward oh i have to go in here there i hope i have one another ward i do perfect so if i do extract and insert here Will it do that? No, it doesn't look like that. Hmm. So let's do this. That was the wrong one here. Maybe I have to go in, in the top. I've never never tried to automate the, the prune stand before. That works. Okay, so now, we're, now, I, now I know it works. So let me... Uh, build up the system where I cycle through the bottles go through the five different brew stands so we can make the splash potion of slowness so the weather outside is quite bad but I totally forgot about the potion brewer from a dust of a goring you simply add water and uh, bottles uh, it's a yeah no we also have to add bottles there as well Let's see here bottle I forgot about that one there and we should get bottles inside it yes we do so we just simply add all the ingredients and it creates the potions so that's quite nice so there we now have 12 this one is filled up so let's make a trash can into the trash can let's see if this works i'm gonna put this one down there it goes out and now it generates perfect yeah and apparently i throw i threw my my normal pig as our uh, out of the itch like that so it's forever gone so i have to build a new one but this is the the way we make the potion so now we need to figure out how to do it for the disenchantment and i think we uh, we have a lot of enchantment books in our system it's raining and thunder yeah and those the dmc part didn't work so we have, we have to either make them or use the one we already have so if i take what breaking Oh, I can't do that in right there. Let's say on breaking, we can actually build these uh, books. So if we look at the power, it runs for two minutes. So if we can make these using the enchanter for NIO, we have EMC for all these. We just need a steady supply of uh, of uh, XP, and we can use the experience this one. 
we can use the solidic spirit we get from chickens, putting through at this uh, the solvent chamber. So then we have a, a steady supply of uh, XP. So I think I want to do that. But uh, for now, I'm just going to make the sleep so we can get this fund away. I managed to input liquid solid experience into the, the back of this one through, through the image system. And uh, out the fluid hatch, we export the, the XP juice only to discover and also yeah also put it into my system in this uh, black hole tank we can see we have a lot of xp juice here only to discover that uh, where is it this one can be automated there's no way to automate it as far as i know it can only take the xp from uh, from our person i can't export essence or xp hmm. so that doesn't work so i have to rely on oh that was not what i wanted so i have to rely on all the enchanting books I have. So I do have a lot of these unbreaking books. So I'm just gonna start with those. So if I go down here and say, I need an export boss, I need a capacity upgrade. So capacity upgrade, this one, I think two should be enough. Let me go down to the bottom. Let me add them in here. Yeah. That should be enough. And we take tick on breaking on breaking on. I can't drag them. No, I have to pull them from the system. Perfect. I have to just have to fly back again down here. And we say on breaking and I can't spell. So one of you, one of you and one of you. And we go back to the basement and we say I'm breaking one, I'm breaking two, and I'm breaking three. And these should now go in here. And I think once this is burned, I don't know if there's a book left or not, but um, we're gonna say redstone uh, control on. We're gonna add you there. Now turned off. So I think actually I have everything now besides the dragon breath. This one has built up to, oh, 3,930 uh, 3, uh, splash potions with it. That should be enough. <laughs> so we only need the halitosis generator. So let me quickly go to the end. Uh, kill the dragon. Up we go. And uh, not, not kill the dragon, but uh, siphon the dragon's dragon breath. There aren't any other way, right? Dragon breath. No. We have to get it this way. Okay, cool. So, and it runs for 10 minutes. So, yeah. Well, let me get to go to the end and gather up some dragon breath. That is a really time consuming process. I only got 32 dragon breath. That has to be for eight hours. So, 10 minutes times 42, that's 420. 420, nice. Uh, and that's around six or eight hours, stuff like that. But let's make the rainbow generator. I should be able to do this and we can craft everything, right? You're not missing anything? No. Let's go. Rainbow. And there we go. Cross them. Let's go downstairs. And set this up. So I'm going to place you right here. There. I can right click it so it, it, you can see all the things it needs. So the overclock generator. Oh, I need some trash cans to write. So it can only uh, en enable the rainbow generator if it's generating power. And a lot of these things have just a lot of energy stored up. So if I do this, 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 not the head of yeah, that's okay. This is gonna make a lot of noise here. So if I click now, you see we missed the disenchantment generator. I'm gonna... Okay, this is, this is, I don't want to hear that. I'm going to start the disenchantment generator. There we go. We also need the furnace generator. Right click. So we need the potion, potion generator. It's this one over here. I'm just going to, oh. oh, I have to add this one. Yes, there we go. So we get the black glass bar out. Yes. So now we can enable the, let's get some milk. Because both the nether star and the death generator uh, gener uh, generate uh, negative effects. So let's get a bottle of milk. So if I can do this, 
Now that's running. I'll do the same for this one as well. I'll go run away. Yeah, my god. Withering. Go and drink some milk. So now we only need the halitosis and the And now the rainbow generator is running. Perfect. And this should generate a lot of EMC and of course a lot of uh, noise as well. Sending 25 RF per tick. Yeah. So, yeah, that was it for this episode. In next episode, we're going to store this energy in a, dra a draconic ball of energy so we can uh, utilize all this energy we are we're creating. So, yeah. Well, any comments to my playthrough on the mod pack, just write down comments below and I will see you in the next episode. Bye bye.